Hello everybody, my name is Caleb Curry. I am the owner of this channel, Caleb the Video Maker 2. I'm also the owner of my website, calebcurry.com, and my other channel, Caleb the Video Maker, without the two. And what I do is I offer educational videos to anybody who has an internet connection. Now someday I may add some downloads to where you can use for offline viewing, but for now this is what I offer. And what I want to do is I want to explain a bit what I have done and what I plan on doing with this channel in the future. Basically in this video I will be comparing and contrasting two terms, training and education. What I have the most of on this channel is education. And you may be thinking education, training sounds like the same thing, but I think there's a little bit of a difference. When I think of education, I think of the fundamentals and the main concepts you need to understand in order to understand how things work or why things work the way they do for whatever you're studying. Now, training is learning how to use certain tools or functions or whatever you're using to get a final product. Now, as for training, you may not know exactly what's going on or why things work the way they do. You just know that's what you get. So to help clear up the difference between training and education, I have an example. Let's say you're working with some video and you're using a program such as Adobe Premiere Pro. Now if you, don't if you don't know about this stuff, that's okay. But let's say you have some footage and it's interlaced and you have no clue what that means. All you know is that the person who wants your video wants it to be progressive, not interlaced. You may not have a clue what that means, but you may understand how to get it from progress, I mean from interlaced to progressive. You can get this by training yourself in Adobe Premiere. Now once you're trained there you may be able to do the same thing in Final Cut Pro or some other video editing program. With education you may be educated in a way that lets you understand that interlaced means every other bar and then goes back and does every other bar again to create a frame. If that don't, does, don't worry if that doesn't make any sense. But, now that you understand how that works, you can find a program or a technique to switch from interlaced to progressive. Now, you may not understand quickly how you can get to progressive, and it may take you some more time. My dogs are always barking. Now with training, you may know quickly how to do that, but you may not understand fully what's going on. There's good sides and bad sides to both of these. For example, it may take you a longer time with education to figure out how to get the final product. With training, you may not get the best results because you're not exactly sure what's going on. But that's just a lame example. And what I want to do is I want to start offering more training classes. Right now I mostly offer educational classes. And with training, also I want to provide education within so you understand what you're doing with this training. Basically, I want you to get the best of both worlds to where you're getting trained and educated. By the way, if you want to learn more about training and education, you can check out this video, if there's an annotation there, or you can just check the link in the description, which will take you to Eli the Computer Guy's video, who talks a little bit about that for IT professionals. And I like him because now I know I'm not the only one who couldn't think of a creative name. Eli the computer guy, Caleb the video maker, <laughs> we're probably like, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Most boring name ever, but I like my name, so I like his name too. To create these training videos, it requires more preparation on my part, and also a better understanding of how to use certain programs, and so forth. And if you don't know this already, I am more of an education kind of guy. I'm book smart. But sometimes, actually doing things, I'm kind of useless, if that makes any sense. So what I want to do is I want to better prepare myself for the future to be able to create awesome stuff with whatever it is I'm working with by being fully educated and fully trained in the areas I need trained. This will help me to get the best results the quickest. And by quickest, I'm not saying rushed and crappy. I'm saying cutting out wasted time by knowing what I'm doing. And this I want to share with you guys so we can all progress and help make us better in everything. 
training videos are oftentimes more boring and not as entertaining, which are the same thing, because you have to go through a bunch of these small little steps. Oh, this button does this. Oh, there's 600 options. We're going to go learn them all. Oh, this button does this with 7,342 options. You know what I'm saying. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just open any Adobe program or a Autodesk program and click options and just like boom. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I want to get with to where we understand what more programs do and so forth. As many of you may already know, I have a variety of videos, but not a ton because I'm kind of just starting out. I have a lot over databases and I have a lot over music theory and nowhere in between. <laughs> but these are educational videos because I can teach you about music theory. Now for training, I may teach you about finale, which helps us create music and to produce professional quality stuff. Just having the education of music theory is not going to get you anywhere. That's why I think a balance between education and training gets the best stuff ever. Now for MySQL, you can use this education to be a database manager or anything else like that. That's the, the training side, whereas the MySQL is the education side. Also on the education side, you can have computer science, which allows you to understand what MySQL is doing exactly. So if you want to further your education with databasing, I would suggest learn other programming languages and computer science. And then train yourself to produce awesome programs or databases that meet people's needs. Sorry I keep waving my hands around uselessly. Drop my clipboard. Anyways, although I don't know the exact direction I'm taking this project, I want to offer material that has rare quality information that helps you educate yourself and train yourself to work in the real world. So please leave me a comment telling me what you've liked, what you would like to see, and also what style you like to learn in. Because right now, mainly I use a whiteboard or a chalkboard, and I know that's boring for some people. So I want to be able to help the most people while also be helping individual groups that like certain things. I'd like to thank you all for the support you have given me because now I've nearly reached 1,000 subscribers. Oh yeah. High five. I hope to continue to make these little update videos here and then to tell you where I'm going with this project, channel, whatever you want to call it. And that's all I really have to say for now. A few other things real quick. You can, number one, check out my new website, calebcurry.com. Two, follow me on Twitter, at Caleb Curry. And three, add me on Google+. And finally, the biggest one of them all, please click subscribe so I can actually reach 1,000 subscribers and continue to make awesome videos for you guys. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon.